we are going to break our hit result. Put this here. Okay. Okay, let's compile. Now, before we continue, we need to first create the characters that we're going to slow down. So, in an empty spot on the blueprint folder, right click, create a blueprint class, and we're going to create another character, and we're going to call it BP Enemy. Straightforward. We're going to open this, mesh, skeletal dude, sub, rotate him 90 degrees. Lower him 90 degrees down. Now, on animation, on our right side, use animation blueprint. We're going to, I think it's tutorial TTPPPP. Wait, which one? I think it's this one. Let's see. Oh. Nope, it's not that one. Okay. There we go. Sorry, I just had the animation starter pack and I choose chose the wrong skeletal mesh. So it should be the mesh from game mannequin character mesh. We picked that and we picked the third person enemy blueprint underscore class. There we go. Perfect. Now let's see or whatever, let's just leave him like that. Let's put our enemy here. Let's put him here. And let's copy him. Okay, so we set our characters up. The enemy characters that we're going to be use, using to test the system. Now we're going to go back to our third person character blueprint where we left off. And for each hit actor, we're going to cast enemy if the cast is successful now here comes the specific logic so we can slow down the time and we can make them slow but then we need to test them so we see exactly how it works but I don't want to turn this into an AI tutorial so I'm gonna leave that to you guys for this example, we're just gonna activate the physics exactly when the slow mo hits. Or, okay, so here's what we're gonna do when we hit the enemy with our sphere trace, we are going to activate the time dilation and we're gonna set it to a really low value so he goes into slow motion. When that happens, we are going to activate his physics and apply some impulse so he like jumps up into the air with the slow-mo activated and during that time we're gonna call an event in our in our enemy where after a couple of seconds he's gonna revert back to his default time so we see like the shift between times and yeah that's what we're gonna do so let's first let me hit compile and let's do the behavior on the enemy let's not do it here it's gonna be a little bit dirty so on our enemy we're gonna custom event activate slow mo and here we are going to set time dilation not global we're gonna set custom time dilation which is the time dilation related to this actor in specific. We're going to set that to 0 0.3. We really don't want it too slow, but we just want it the exact amount so we can actually see the whole effect. So, custom time dilation, we activate the slow mo, then we take the mesh, we set physics. set simulate physics but before we do this we have to disable our capsule component collision set collision enabled no collision we disable our capsule 
after we disable our cap, so we make sure our mesh collision enabled, just in case, collision enabled. Ooh. So after we set the collision on our mesh, we're gonna then activate our physics, and just in case, we're going to wake rigid bodies just to make sure the physics are working. So after we make this actor slow and turn him, him into a ragdoll, we're going to apply, I think it's impulse, but impulse, add impulse, at location or add impulse. Okay, we're gonna add impulse at location. Quickly now, let's check the bone, like our our mesh bones, just to see which bone we're gonna apply the force. I think we should apply it on our pelvis bone upwards. It's called pelvis. Yeah, pelvis. Okay. Pelvis, magnitude and direction. Ah, oh, I forgot about this. Okay, location. Let's put five thousand. Impulse, magnitude and direction of impulse to apply. Uh, haven't touched this in a while. Let's just apply five thousand on on C. Let's see if this works. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Let's go back. So for every enemy that's hit, activate slow-mo. It should work. I believe the physics and the ragdoll should work. I'm not sure about the impulse. We're gonna see that right now. So start, let's make this big. Okay, we're gonna hit Q. Boom! Holy shit, it actually did it. Let's see it again. So it did work. Let's lower the time dilation to 0.1. Okay guys, I think it the custom time dilation doesn't work with physics. I think only the custom, like the global time dilation is the one that affects the physics. So what we're gonna do is quickly, we're gonna improvise here. We're gonna add pawn sensing. We're gonna add a little bit of AI to our enemy. Let's add pawn sensing. Let's quickly, yeah, it's fine by that. Let's add on C pawn. So when our enemy sees the player, he's gonna run towards him. So pawn. Okay, AI move to. We are going to move to the scene pawn. Wait, first cast to third. So we make sure it, it just follows our the player and, and not the other enemies around him. So AI move to. No, self, we, got, we want to move the enemy, we want to move him to our target actor which is going to be our third person, we're going to set the set and radius to 25, and let's see if that works. Massive derp guys, <laughs> we forgot to add the navigation mesh. So, modes, nav, mesh, bounds, volume. I'm surprised I keep making so many <laughs> newbie mistakes. So we want to add the navigation, bounds. Let's see if our activate slow-mo, which we're just setting the custom time dilation, let's set it to point uh, to five. 
we we disabled the whole physics system because like I said before it looks like the actor time dilation the specific time dilation related to this actor is doesn't modify the physics only the global one so let's hit compile let's hit play we got our dudes following us and we press Q and you can see that we slow their time down but we still run in the same time so it's pretty cool I actually never worked with this before let's not pick all of them at the same time let's just pick a handful of them so let's pick these guys so you can see the difference that only the, the actors the the characters that got hit were the ones that got slowed down let's slow down these guys that's pretty cool alrighty 